Well, hi guys and welcome Smithy here and tonight we're going to show you how to install this voxel map which you can see on the right hand side over there. Uh, voxel map is uh, works on similar principles to Rise Minimap however it's got different features that Rise Minimap hasn't got. Uh, some of the things you can do, lots of different things you can do which I'll show you a few of the things afterwards. It's got lots of settings but more importantly let's show you how to actually uh, download it and install it and what you need on Minecraft to actually get it working for uh, 1.72 and it works in 1.74 as well so let's go and find it so first things first we go over to Google Chrome and if you type in voxel map into there and press return you'll get a number of searches the one you want is the link to www.planetminecraft.com mods and voxel map 1.7.2 minecraft mods so you click on there there's the information from the uh, maker of this uh, and there's different versions of it the version i am going to use is for forge and uh, if you just look back two videos before this one on my video list you'll see uh, or the one before this actually you'll see how to download and install the latest version of Forge but that's a separate uh, video it's quite easy to do now because it's self extracting and it literally loads into your Minecraft folder so have a look at that video and once you've got Forge installed you can download and install this and it's so easy so I'm gonna I could go down for the uh, MC patcher one if you're happy with that so go with that but I'm gonna go for the Forge one so you click on this link here you can see it's very popular you click on it and you get sent through to the usual landing page uh, and you just wait now usually it should work I'm waiting for the adverts to click click in to download it's only 399 kilobytes uh, and it then see it will then save so I'm going to save it uh, and once you saved it you go down to your downloads folder so we're going to nip to the downloads folder uh, lots of information there so downloads and you see the all you get is a voxel map jar so what do we do with that jar well what you need to do is you need to go into your roaming profile so you go with the usual run percentage app data percentage and press OK and that will bring up your Minecraft uh, uh, that I've already installed uh, Forge but uh, so you open up your dot Minecraft and this is very easy really is so if you go to a mods folder now if you haven't got a mods folder already you have to make one I'm not going to go into how you do that it's just simply uh, you can uh, right click new and you can put in a folder and just call it mods uh, so once you have opened the mods folder and you saw I've already got rise minimap in here But what I'm going to do is just load the jar all you have to do is load the jar straight in there like that uh, And that's all you have to do nothing else. So then we're going to go and boot up uh, boot up the uh, Minecraft So now let's uh, boot up Minecraft and when it loads the first time it might take a little longer what will happen is uh, in your profiles if you've watched my forge video you will now have a forge profile I've got many profiles in here but a forge one so I'm going to play on the forge one you can see forge there but you'll have to go and have a look at that other video just to have to install that so once Minecraft boots up and it's on 1.72 so you've got the old thing you will see straight away that we are in the forge version so this is the mod for forge so uh, if I click on mods you will now see that voxel map is installed on the left hand side so there we go so we know it's in and we know it's working so we're going to go on single player world that I created earlier and we're going to have a look at it and see what it actually does so when it first boots up you can see there it comes up with a voxel map uh, translated blah 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 you've got Z Z to zoom in and zoom out M for options or map for options whichever way toggle full screen map and quickly set waypoint the advantage uh, that this got I think over a raised mini map is that the fact you can set these uh, set these uh, waypoints and loads of them so Z hide the message so let's go and have a look now you can see that already uh, lots of mobs are on here so let's go and have a look at the menu so I'm going to press menu you've got the coordinates on or off uh, mini map you can actually hide the mini map you can see the coordinates go off uh, regular size large size small regular large uh, so you can change the location uh, put it back over there 
uh, square map, which is slightly bigger, as you can see. See that? Uh, yeah, it's facing north. So it's just this one moves around, that one's north. Uh, In-game waypoints, you can have both. You enable cave mode. Well, when you go into caves, uh, it shows up the caves. Radar, right, let's have a look at the radar. Lots of different things. Uh, random mobs on, I'm going to turn them off. Uh, hostiles, I'll turn them off, so let's put the random mobs on, so it can change the mobs, but more importantly, when I get to the mobs, and it shows players as well, if I go mobs to display, I can turn on or off. So if I just wanted to go and find a witch, uh, or a spider, or a slime, I can turn these off, like that, see? So you just turn them all off. Uh, I wonder actually if I can, oh, no, what we have so done. Uh, Oh, creeper's still on there. Obviously, where's creeper? Blaze, cave spider, creeper, ender dragon, enderman, ghast, or none of those done. Uh, so you can change that outline type and outlines. I don't know what that is. Anyway, done. Uh, and details, performance. There's lots of different things. Filtering, biome overlay. What type of biome? You have the grid chunk on, which is very handy for finding slime chunks. Uh, as you can turn them off, you can have water transparency on or off. Dynamic lighting as well. Some of it is, if you haven't got a powerful computer, uh, it could be seen as, uh, in fact, I'm going to go into what's name mode. Uh, it could be, we'll just show you what happens. This is obviously because I've got, uh, I'm using, uh, got it on maximum settings. So when I go into the map, did I have them? Let's cover up. Uh, radar. Did I have? Oh yeah, you can have just the different types of biome transfers. I was looking where I found the uh, where I found the. I like the slope one there. Yeah, cave mode. So you get used to the settings. Let me go in here. I think it will. Uh, I have to turn one sentence off and it shows the caves. So I haven't got that. So it's uh, really good. The performance hit is because... Uh, it's going to be there. Performance hit is because I'm using uh, fraps at the same time and I've got everything set to the max out. So there is a performance hit on this particular mod, but it's not, not when you've got fraps turned off. So that's a pretty good. I like the square one. Set that off, square, minimap. And then once you start adding waypoints, it becomes really, really good. Uh, and you can change the settings how you wish it to be. But uh, you can see features. And if you're going through things, you can watch out. You can see the ravine. So I could be ages away walking past here and wouldn't know the ravine was there. But on the minimap, you can. And if I go and put the maps, the maps back on. Radar. I'm going to go and put back on. Uh, I think I'll just put more back on. I was looking for witches, I could find them. Done. There we go. And there's a witch over there, see? Now, it might not be on this level, of course. It might be a different level and go into the cave mode. But what's that? See, sometimes you can't see it. And you can zoom in using the Z. And zoom out. So it's got different uses. Uh, compared with the rise map so what I think we might do at some point is do a comparison what to get used to using them but it's a very handy uh, map and if you've got forge installed already once it puts forge for other, other mods it then works with the other mods so I hope you enjoyed the install there thanks for watching please like uh, if you found this useful to install it and as I say if new versions come out I'll provide uh, uh, update videos on how to load them and especially if they change the way they load them in 1.8 so uh, thanks for watching and I'd also like to say, please take a look at my other videos. I have now uh, over 300 uh, and uh, well, 350, 360 videos. My main videos are to do with uh, the Zanecraft uh, whitelisted server and also to do with PvP. But as you scroll down my page, you'll see I've got a number of uh, uh, tutorials. I like doing XP farms and also I've got some where I went to Minecraft Expo last year. We're going to go to the new Minecraft expo this year which is at easter so have a look at that and i've got some other videos with battlefield and i've got a number of uh, uh different types of uh 
video playlists that you can have a look at and I'm updating them regularly with a new 1.8 coming so again thanks for watching please sub and it's bye from me